Hello, welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you basic overview of Oracle integration. In Oracle integration, we are creating integration to communicate with different different applications. So this is the different part. So in this video, I'm just going to give you brief about Oracle integration and the Oracle integration page from where how it's like look like and all everything I will show you here. So first we need to log in here. So just click on uh, enter username password and click on sign in. So once you will log in, you can see it is the home page of Oracle integration. So in this Oracle integration home page only when you will log in, there is like various recipe already created by which you can get help to perform different different activations, uh, uh, different different actions and all. So let's let me show you all the details related to that. So here you can see the here once you will click on the task icon, you can see there are different different tabs, right? So in we are right now in the home page. And now once you will click on the project, so in Oracle integration generation three, they give an option to create project. What is project? I will explain you in different videos. Just give, I am just going to give you basic overview of generation three now. Here you can see in design, when you will move to the design, in design only you will get all the options related to integration. So if you will see the first one is the integration, we have to create integration here. Whatever integration you can see, I have already created few integration. If you will see, this integration we can navigate by here and we can see the integration by we can go back and here we have connection so this connection we are going to use in integration so making a connectivity between like different different application and now we have event so now in oracle generation 3 we have option to create event for publish and subscribe to oic related integration after that we have lookup libraries package agent adapters and various things here once you will move back you can see we have b2b option here in b2b if you have to create that kind of application you can move to b2b also and now observability you can see here we have different different things like monitoring checking the integration instance details log messages and all in the dashboard you can see it will show you the details related to the integration like activation and the error details all these things if you will go to the integration it will show you all the integration whatever we have and the status of the integration agent we have if we have agent we can see here instance error if we have any related to the integration message fusion application everything we can see here also if we will move back we have setting in setting you can see we have details related to the file server setting we can establish server from here only we can provide the user to access, remove the access and all. We can do various operations. If we will go back here, we have the option in the setting. We have option for tracing. You can go and check the tracing setup and all. There are various, various things. Now here you can see visual builder. If you want to open the visual builder, we can directly open visual builder from here also. Or you have to navigate to the cloud application that the OCI cloud console from there you can access that one. So these are the basic details related to Oracle integration generation three. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and please mention your comment. Do appreciate me. Thank you so much again for watching.